Let's do this. I like the music for this place. Alright, so there's our first stray fairy. Now, in these temples, there's always 15 stray fairies to find. Next, there's number two. Now, we gotta fly through the middle here to avoid the Skulteros. They'll knock us right out of the air. This place stinks just like that poison swamp. That's because there's poison water here. Oh, there's fairy number three. These are quite nasty looking flowers. But if if you step on them as a deep shrub, they won't try to bite you. Straight fairy number four. If you try to climb on them as human like them, they're gonna bite you. Hey, you got a small key. Knock down that hive, and there's a fairy in it. There's number five. We're a third of the way there. That's a snapper. All right, so you gotta burrow into a flower, let them come to you, and then pop up right when they're above you. It's the only way to beat these things. Just like that. I like for these big chests how Diku Link has to jump in the chest to get it. Alright, there's the dungeon map. looks pretty light. Well, don't just stand there. Push A and move it out of the way. Okay, now I'm gonna have to kind of do a trick shot here. tricky, but it is possible. Otherwise, we'd have to wait till we get the bow to do that. 
Not that that's terribly far away, mind you. Right, another stray fairy inside of the Skulltula. Now we push this block out of the way. Oh, wait, hold on. Look above us. There's another straight fairy. It's number eight. Right, now, these moths are gonna get angry that they're we're taking their fire, kind of. They're gonna follow us. Or maybe it's more that they're just attracted to the fire that's moving. If they touch you, they will hurt. Light this torch. And the door opens. Dragonflies in here. Ow. Get out of here. There's the compass. this fire upstairs. Right, now we're gonna have to take the fire across this gap. Oops. Not like that. this cobweb. And now they'll leave me alone. The moss, that is. I sense a lot of evil here. Now these things are called black bows. in this room. A treasure chest appears. Okay, we got another fairy. Watch out for dragonflies again. Yeah. 
Guess we're just gonna attempt fate here. Definitely don't want to get knocked down one of those holes. Right, so let's hit the switch. Now we got ourselves a shortcut. Link is unfortunately not light, a lot, light enough. It's not heavy enough to push down those switches. So that made a chest appear. Stray Fairy number 11. Alphos or Dynalphos? Oh, Dynalphos. Watch out for their fire breath. And it's dead. Thus, the hero's bow. I will say that's one thing that's kind of a, a bit of a letdown about this game. The treasures of the of the four dungeons are all related to the bow. First it's the bow and then the elemental arrows, so it kind of sucks. But it's one of the only down downsides to this otherwise amazing game. Alright, so we're gonna hit that eye switch there. Alright, so not only will this help to us get to the other side, but it'll also act as a, another form of a shortcut. Now the dawn of the second day. A gecko, and it's pretty angry. Oh, he's calling for help. A snapper. Get off of him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Gotcha. Hey, goodbye to the gecko and his partner. So yeah, just like the snappers before, you gotta let him, you gotta burrow into a flower and let, let him get on top of you and pop out to dismount him. Now, remember this frog for later, because they're part of a side quest. Side quest that we just can't do at the moment. There's the boss key. Back to the central room again. Yeah, I see that. So we're gonna light the torch. So not only does that raise the platform and make it spin, it also purifies the water in the room. Which also kills those nasty little lily pad things. Okay, so now we gotta light that torch over there. And I missed. There we go. Nailed it that time. the skull is in this room. Also kill the dragonflies. Alright, so there's a fairy right there. There's number 12. Number 14, and you probably saw number 15 off in the distance. Fifteen straight fairies of Woodfall Temple. Actually, you know what? Alright, so we hit the crystal switch. Quickly hop over here, transform. Fly using the flower. This flower. Okay, and then we can just fly across the gap. Okay, and now it's boss time. Actually, the blast mask might be. Okay, Harold. All right, let's do this. There he is. Adola, Mass Jungle Warrior. If you get close to him, you'll be beaten. 
not so easy. Basically, just wait for him to attack. Ow. Not get hit by it. Nice hit, sir. Alright, we can go ahead and empty this bottle now, because we're gonna need it in a moment. Yeah, fun boss! I like him. One of the only real traditional bosses in this game. Alright, now we got our first heart container. Seized Oldalwa's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mass had kept imprisoned within the body of evil Odalwa. Yeah, pretty cool boss. These things look a little strange and creepy, but they are quite friendly. It seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Played the Oath to Order. Learn the Oath to Order. That's what it's saying. Yep. 
Okay. So by clearing Woodfall Temple, we've cleaned out the poison water in the swamp entirely. So the swamp is safe once more. Four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? You were pretty good out there. Have you done this before? Eh, couple times. Just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey, um. Yes. All that stuff I did to you, your horse. I apologize. Thank you. We finally got a full apology out of her. A real one. There, I apologize. So don't hold it against me. Got it? Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next stop is in the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. there, princess. I'm here to rescue you. He did ask me to save you, yes. Your body smells a little like bit like monkey. So the monkey made it back fine after all. Uh, about that. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think the monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. Yeah, wouldn't that be crazy? Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Find something to carry me in so that can take me to the palace? Sure. Like this? That works. We put the Deku princess in a bottle. It's a tight foot, but she said she'll be fine if you hurry. Well, first things first, we need to turn in our stray fairies and get our reward first. That was a great shot of the moon there. Just leering over the mountain. That's the fairy fountain. Okay, you're back to normal now. Great Fairy of Power. I grant you prowess with this new sword technique. Master the spin attack. Press and hold B to power your, your weapon with magic. <laughs> I 
So basically, it just gives us the full spin attack that we had in Ocarina of Time. Because up until now, we only had the puny blue one. 